yeah, that was a special feeling, you know, just to hold the 55th title and the World's Strongest Man title together. I mean, it's a dream come true, you know, watching Rangers win 55 and then myself, you know, being the champion of the world, you know, so it's a special, special feeling to hold them together. What's the, the journey been like for yourself to become the World's Strongest Man? It's been a hard eight to nine years, you know, it's not just kind of click of our fingers and that's it. It's been dedication, sacrifice, hard work, just like, you know, the Rangers as well. And, uh, you know, I've had tough times. Um, and nearly quit the sport, but to kind of just get my head mentally kind of screwed on and just, you know, each year I improved and, you know, here I am today, 10 years later as World's Strongest Man, so uh, it's been a great, great kind of journey for me. Having been through all that, what was it like to then finally, you know, clinch that trophy that sat there next year? Yeah, I mean, it's a special feeling, you know. Uh, my mum passed away five years ago, so I said in 2019 that in three years' time I'd be World's Strongest Man, so to do it and to keep that promise to my mum, it's a very special feeling, so. Yeah, it means this trophy means so much to me. So. What are your, or maybe some of your memories growing up watching Rangers? I don't know. I like. I was. You know, the days were like Dark Cheville and Michael Moles and all them kind of guys. You know, the that the team that when I watched them, I was just like, this is this is team for me. You know, Fernando Rixons and all them, lovely cans. I seen all the kind of players back then, and they were such a great team. And then, you know, even going through the tough times, we went to the third division as well. That was a and a great journey that none of us expected. And. You know, we kind of followed the club all the way to the top again. So yeah, I've had, again, with Rangers as much as strong and just as much lows as, a, as high. So. You mentioned the journey you've been on, the journey Rangers have been on over the last year, what, oh, both winning these fantastic titles. You're invited to Ibrox tomorrow for the, the Arsenal game. How much are you looking ahead to that? Yeah, man, that's just an amazing feeling, you know, to kind of be back in Ibrox after so long. Um, you know, I've missed it so much. Watching it on TV is not the same. So to be here and just being invited is an un unbelievable feeling. So I'm going to take it all in and uh, enjoy the football because, you know, the fans kind of have missed it a lot. And especially the Rangers fans, you know, it's going to be a great game. The start of what we hope is going to be the next step in the journey for, for Rangers, for yourself. What's next for you? Yeah, so what's next for me is, you know, regaining this title again. Once I've had my hands on this, I don't want to let it go. So, yeah, this is staying in Scotland for a few more years.